In this video, we're gonna talk about one of my favorite cake decorating tools, and that is Tylos Powder. Hi, it's Carolyn. If you wanna learn how to bake and decorate amazing cakes, then I would love for you to join me by hitting subscribe and the bell. <laughs> So I'm, I need to talk to you guys about Tylos powder. This is Wilton Gumtex powder. Tylos powder is a brand name. There's also CMC powder. It's all basically the same thing. What it does is it helps the fondant dry hard. So that way I can make toppers like which are on the top of these cakes so they can stand up on their own and they're not going to fall or distort. I let them dry for a couple days so they can hold their shape. I get so many questions about this stuff, so I felt like I needed to make a video. <clears throat> Whoa, what was that? <laughs> I felt like I needed to make a video about this. So, I only work with marshmallow fondant, okay? I make my own fondant. I have a video where I give you the recipe and show you how I make it. And I have only worked with marshmallow fondant like my entire 20 plus years of making cakes, so that's all I know. And I believe that a lot of you are having issues with your Tylos powder not really working because you are adding it to store-bought fondant. Now, store-bought fondant from, I've, I've only used it a couple times, but it is notoriously soft. And I feel like no matter how much Tylos powder you add to that, it's not going to set hard like you need it to. And I only really know this because a lot of you have told me that your fondant isn't setting hard. And I always ask, are you making marshmallow fondant or are you using store-bought fondant? And nine times out of 10, it's store-bought fondant. Now, I, I thought back and I remembered that one time I made a topper and I'm gonna find the cake and I'm gonna put it here. I think it was a B topper. And what I did, I did the LMF, it, it's like Liz, I can't remember her name and I'm gonna butcher it, Liz Mer Merrick. Her fondant recipe is a mixture of marshmallow fondant with store-bought fondant to make it a little more stretchy. And I tried it for the very first time when I made this topper and I did add Tylos powder to it. And I remember it was like a half hour delivery and the bee was like falling down on itself. It didn't collapse. <laughs> Luckily it didn't collapse. It's just like it kind of like shrunk. Well, I guess it did collapse. <laughs> it just didn't fall over, but it kind of just like fell down on itself as I was driving. And I attribute that to having store-bought fondant in that fondant topper. And since I stopped using store-bought fondant, I've never had that issue. Now, I said nine times out of 10, people have issues because they use store-bought fondant. So there are some instances where you add this to marshmallow fondant and it doesn't really set up. And I find that that is because your marshmallow fondant is way too soft. And in my video, I have a video talking about why your marshmallow fondant sucks. And I will link that in the description or I'll put it in the end screen too. If you have too much powdered sugar in your marshmallow fondant, it's going to be dry and it's gonna crack and it's gonna be super annoying. If you don't have enough powdered sugar in your marshmallow fondant, it's gonna be way too soft and no matter how, many, how much Tylos powder you add to it, it's not really going to set and it's going, and it's gonna be annoying. <laughs> Everything in cake decorating is annoying unless it goes your way, seriously. But anyway, another question that I get is how much Tylos powder do I add? And I know I'm like the worst with these measurements because I always just eyeball it and it all depends on how much fondant I have. Now in this video up here, I give my updated recipe of how I make marshmallow fondant. And in this recipe, I add a little bit of Tylos powder to the entire batch of fondant when I make it. And it's probably, I don't know, like a teaspoon or something of fondant because I just find that having a little bit of Tylos powder in all of my fondant, if I cover the cakes with it, or if I'm just making decorations, it all has at least a little bit of Tylos powder in it because I find that once that Tylos powder is added, it makes the fondant smooth and so much easier to work with in small amounts. So I don't mean to confuse you. If I'm covering a cake, I have a small amount of Tylos powder in the fondant to help it make it more workable. And I have a video 
<laughs> and I will link it in the description showing you how to get your fondant to the correct consistency if you want to cover a cake with it. Now this is all just using marshmallow fondant. Now when I'm making decorations, you've seen my trace cut and smooth method. I add some Tylos powder to the fondant. I roll it out. I let it sit for 20 minutes or so to let that fondant, to let the Tylos powder start to stiffen the fondant. So I will take a piece of the marshmallow fondant that is already has a little bit of Tylos powder in it and I'll, I will color it. And usually when you add coloring to the fondant, it softens the fondant a little bit. So then I will take this gum tex powder and I will add a little bit more powder. How much do I add? It all depends on how much fondant I have. That's why it's difficult to say. But I start with like a little sprinkle, a quarter teaspoon, a half teaspoon, a full teaspoon, depending on how much I have. And I'm sorry that I can't give you exact amounts, but I always have different amounts of fondant, so it's hard to give exact amounts of Tylos powder. But I will say even I don't always get it right. So sometimes I don't have enough Tylos powder in it. Sometimes my fondant is way too soft. And the only way that I know, and it's super annoying, <laughs> is when you add the Tylos powder, you roll it out and you go to cut your decorations after waiting 20 minutes and the fondant is dragging with the knife as you cut it. Sometimes I power through and can get through it, but I'm telling you the way to get these crisp, clean decorations is to have the fondant set hard as you're working with it. And I, I say hard, but I mean that it's not soft and it's not dragging. It's not rock hard. If the fondant gets rock hard, then I throw it away. So I highly recommend that you just start making marshmallow fondant to use as your fondant. And listen, I, I have said this in videos before, it is one of my least favorite things to do is making marshmallow fondant. It ruins my day. I get so annoyed because it, it creates a mess. There is a sugar, a coating of sugar on all the appliances and I have to wipe everything down when I'm done. You know, it just creates a mess. However, it tastes much better than store-bought fondant. It's much easier to work with, at least for me, and it costs so much less to make. To make a pound of marshmallow fondant is probably $3 or so, and maybe to buy a pound is, is what, 10? I don't know, I haven't bought fondant in forever, but you do the math. <laughs> so you could see how uh, my day was the other day when I had to make five batches of fondant for my cakes this week. And this all does have that Tylos powder in it. I wrap it in plastic wrap and keep it in a uh, airtight container so it doesn't dry out. And I do go over that in my video on how I make fondant. And one more thing, people do ask me how I store leftover fondant. Do I get rid of it? And no, I don't. <laughs> I have this container where I keep all of my usable fondant. And I like to separate it in colors. I have pink, red, orange, yellow, greens, blues, purples, tans and browns. And I have another one for like black. And I will continue to use the fondant until it is rock hard when it is at room temperature. So all of that fondant does have Tylos powder mixed into it. I find the more that I microwave the fondant, the harder it sets and it reduces the life of the fondant. So just to give you an idea, if I can still squeeze it when it's cold at room temperature, then it is still usable. If I can't, and you see this fondant is falling apart and I saved it just to show you guys this and it's really hard to squeeze, this is done, that has to go in the trash and I'm just gonna throw that one away too because my hands were all over it. But that's how I store my fondant once it's used so I can keep using it and don't waste it. I don't keep it in the refrigerator, I don't freeze it. I go through so much fondant that I, I don't feel the need to refrigerate or freeze it. Now you can if you want to, I never have, but you could wrap it up and freeze it and then take it out. I, I just don't know what to recommend for that because I've never done it, so I'm not too sure about the thawing process and everything. If you have frozen your fondant, your marshmallow fondant, and used it again, please let me know in the comments so other people can figure out how to do that. So there is my knowledge of the Tylos powder and how to get it to work for you. And I'm sorry to break the news to you, but I feel like you're gonna have to start making marshmallow fondant and getting used to using that if you want your decorations to start being really crisp and clean and easy to cut. Have you guys started using the Tylos or the CMC or the Gum Tex powder with success? 
If you have, let us know in the comments so we can see. And also, if you're still having trouble with it, put that down in the comments so we could try to figure out what's going on. So I think that's it. Please like this video if you liked it. And if you're enjoying my tutorials, I would be so grateful if you could buy me a coffee. My link is pinned in the comments below. And please keep in touch on socials and check out my website. Everything is listed in the description. And if you wanna stick around, you can watch this video next and hit subscribe and the bell if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. And remember, it's cake, have fun. I will see you on the next one. Bye.